Not only do employees expect more from their employers, but so does everyone who's connected to the organization. You see, our world of glass houses has raised the bar. The more people understand about an organization, the more they expect. The best way I know how to explain this is by relating it to the courtship of my wife. The first time we met, Sue had no expectations of me or our relationship. And in fact, her initial impressions of me probably weren't all that good. We were on a chartered flight with a number of business associates, and Sue had come along as a guest of one of my customers. During the flight, a friend and I were clowning around a bit. Long story, and I'm going to spare you the details, but it involved pillowcases and sunglasses and a few too many drinks. Somehow, I overcame that impression, and Sue eventually agreed to go out with me. Our expectations of each other and the relationship on those first few dates remained simple. She expected me to treat her with respect and to do things like open the car door for her. Meanwhile, I wondered if she was a Pittsburgh Steelers fan. After about five dates, however, our conversations had grown deeper, more transparent. She knew there was more to me than that guy she first saw dancing in the aisles of an airplane with a pillowcase pulled over his head. And I knew there was more to her than an attractive and successful businesswoman. By this point, we had shared our values, our hopes, and our dreams. And we had seen how those things impacted our decisions and our behaviors. The more transparent we were with each other, the more we strengthened our trust in each other. Our feelings ran deeper and our expectations of each other and for the relationship began to grow. I think the same is true for organizations in today's climates. I really believe our personal and uh, organizational values, our strategies and our expectations are open to anyone and everyone who has an interest. And so are our decisions and our behaviors. The more people know about us and like what they see, the more they feel a connection to who we are and what we're doing. And the greater the connection, the greater their expectations are of who we should be and how we should behave. Think about companies that are well known for opening themselves up to the world around them. Companies like Starbucks, Tom's, or the Container Store. Even if you don't agree with all their policies and practices, you have certain expectations of them, higher expectations most likely, because you know what they say they believe. You've seen how they live their stated values, and you've seen the value they provide to others. Transfluence provides a framework and a mindset for creating and then living up to these increased expectations. But it also creates a rising tide for more. The more your leadership exemplifies transfluence, the more you achieve the broader business objective of creating shareholder value. With that comes even greater expectations. First, for you as a leader, and then for your entire organization. As the wave of trust builds, the entire organization has opportunities to accomplish transfluence, to see its transformative influence flow outward and create greater and more lasting value.